Welcome to my channel. I am Uncle Mark, just working on my F-150. If you have one the same, I am just going to show you how to, to uh, change your fog light in the bumper. The uh, Maybe you got a bulb that's burned out. Real easy to do. And take us a couple minutes. I'll even show you what the bulb number is. Stick around. So way down here is the fog light we're talking about. And you know, bulbs eventually go, maybe it gets water in it, they burn out. You might even get a stone that'll break it. We'll deal with how to just change the bulb first of all. So you turn your wheel to the op inside, whichever side you're on. And you should be able to actually access it. Look how exposed it is. Wires just hang in there. It's supposed to be kind of waterproof, but so you turn it counterclockwise it should pop out and there's the bulb there and I'll show you how to unclip it those three little fingers there we'll talk about that when you put it back in but there's this one little clip here you can gently just pull it up a little bit and pull it up that way and push backwards or unhook it pull it apart whatever you want to call it wiggle it a little bit and it should come apart don't lose that orange and I'll show you here in a minute Let's take a look at the number first. It's a 9140. 9140. With the wires here, there's this little orange boot. Well, that's an actual adjustment in case the lights are a little too high or low. We'll look at that after. But this little orangey colored part will zoom in a little bit. That part there. Don't lose it. I'll keep water from getting in the connection. You just click back on if you get the new one in there. Just put it back in the hole. You might have to twist it left, right, till it actually wants to pop in. There's only one way it goes in, and then crank it to the right, and it locks in there. And that's basically how it comes apart and goes back together. We'll show you a little closer, because I'm going to show you how to take this whole unit out. A lot of times, you know, there's three bolts from in the uh, wheel well housing behind your tire. One at the bottom, two at the top. This little one's kind of hard to see, but I'm drawn around it. They're eight millimeter nuts. Or bolts, I guess, is what they are. I'm using this ratchet. This is actually a swivel. I've used it a couple times before. Nice to get into some places where things are in the way. I've loosened this, so I'm going to use a little thumb drive. I'll try and put a link in the description to a few of these. They come in really handy. Where you don't have a whole lot of room. Whoa! Whoa. You guys okay? Right. Back to work. Things happen. <laughs> so it's an eight millimeter socket. I'll put a link to this thumb drive in the description. This is a three eighths drive. They usually come in like a pack of three or something, a quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. Not a whole lot of money. The ratcheting. You can get up to ratchet either way to loosen or to tighten. So we've got the bottom bolt off. I'm gonna have to use my ratchet to break them free. There's not much room in here. It's a lot easier once you get them loose to use that little thumb drive. Although it's doable. I'd say a lot of times stones will break. Uh, the lens on these things. So how do you get them out? I never had this out before. I thought, eh, let's do it already. Get that last one out. I was shocked how exposed all this is. Water's going to be always, you know, flooding this thing from your tire rocks and stuff too snow in the winter time if you're there or sand in the summertime this just kind of comes out just wiggle it in and out around and grab it around the corner and it's that easy there it is this one isn't broken or nothing but I thought let's take a look together here's the unit I'm holding it sideways 
There's those three. That's the way it is. That's right set up. You can tell um, by the way this screw adjustment is because the light only adjusts up and down. It doesn't adjust right to left. And it just popped in there with a couple of these little fingers. I was really amazed. Wasn't sure how I'm going to pop that out without breaking it. Like I say, I've never had this apart before. But it just swivels on there. So the first thing, if you're going to take it apart, because if you buy the new lens, it's just going to be, well, we'll show you, it's just a little piece inside. So let's take this adjustment screw out first. Like I say, this is up and down, so. Yeah. Easy enough. Use a big flat screwdriver. Did bug in there. Plus a Phillips screwdriver to undo that uh, adjustment screw there. Now I was trying to think how can I put this back so that I don't, you know, wreck the adjustment. So I'm just going to run a marker. It looks like four turns or four uh, what do you want to call it you see what I'm doing I counted four the screw grooves that's not what they're called anyway I'm hoping these marks will help watch that see how that moves so it looks if you loosen it, it looks like the light would go down. If you tighten it, the light would go up. The spring just pops out. Better not lose those. Now I'll get my big flat screwdriver, see how this thing's gonna pop out. See, that moves up and down. It moves quite a bit. I think I'm just going to go inside. And just try and pop it out just gently. You'd hate to snap that off. I can imagine what that's worth from four. Once it came out. Holding it from the back, and it comes out. So imagine this is the piece. If you replace it, that's all you would get. You would hope, because the whole housing is probably worth a few bucks. It only goes in one way. A little dirty. So. Another bug. Put it back together. Dropping stuff today. Slippery hands. So it only goes in one, well, two ways it could. But that screw side has to, you know, it wouldn't fit this way. Because that wouldn't line up. So it's got to go that way. And you have, and you have those fingers, right? That it pivots on. I'm just gonna Grab it that way. I'm just going to stick it back in. You see what we're doing? Uh, Butterfingers. Uncle Mark Butterfingers. Should just pop back in if you line it up. There goes one. It's not hard to do. There you go. And it should move a little bit. And, yeah, there you go. Make sure it's the right way. Where the screws? Yep, those are going to line up. And it looks like I've rubbed most of my marks off. I'll know how many turns to turn it, I guess. We said it was, uh, when I counted the grooves, there were four of them. And there's a little bit of black on the end still, so I'll know which way it faced, we hope. 
trying to make this screw go back into the plastic clip there as straight as I can. Not easy to do. So if I count four of those, do a little bit more. black marker is facing the right way now. Either that or it'll be a whole turnout. Okay. One, two, three, four. And a bit. Now let's put her back in. Okay, and maybe it needs to be just a little tighter. There goes the heater again. Should just go back in the way we had it. Uh, pretty simple. Just line it up. You might have to wiggle it in. It's not heavy. That's one nice thing. I guess if the light was glass, it would be heavy. Let's put the th three bolts back in and do this one in the corner here first. You can do whatever order you like, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Try and speed it up for you a little bit. And then look for the third one here that can go in the bottom. No, and we'll do the top first. Get all those done. And then put the bottom one in. Tighten her all up. You can check out my playlist too. We did one with the headlight. Okay, now there's a screw adjuster there. Remember, counterclockwise would be down. Clockwise would be up. Put this back together. Make sure that rubber seal is in there too. Try not to touch the bulb. These halogen bulbs get really hot if you have oil on them. From your skin, they'll burn out. I think that's it. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? If you liked the video, why not give me the thumbs up? Uh, you can subscribe down in the corner too. Also, if you do have an F-150, I have a playlist we'll put up in the corner here. You can go take a look at that. Uh, working on the truck, you know, so anytime I do something to it, I try and get the recorder out and you can follow me along. You guys take care. Uh, till next time, tell your friends about the channel. Again, uh, till we meet again, <laughs> Mark saying bye-bye for now. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. So like